You wanna track down one of your old mid-journey images and make some updates or changes, then you are in the right spot because I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that step by step. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your newly made images in that fast-moving Discord server, I can help you with that one too. For that trick, you're either gonna to wanna to click up here or wait till the end and I'll link you over. Aloha, my friends, I'm David Tatera and I teach AI for marketers. Okay, so the first step we need to do is track down the image you wanna change. And we're gonna do that by going to midjourney.com. And wanna sign in. Okay, and you're gonna to wanna to sign in with your Discord account that you use for Midjourney and authorize access from midjourney.com to see it. And you'll see instantly it loads up a list of all your old images. So I'm gonna take this one here and make some changes to it. And to do that, I'm gonna click on these three dots, select copy, and pick the job ID. Next, I'll head over to my Discord and use the command called show and enter that job ID. That allows Discord to pull back up that previous image that we've already made in Midjourney. To change it, you're gonna to wanna to go to your settings and make sure that this option is on called remix mode. This allows you to remix and change your previous images. So now when I click on make variations, you'll get a remix prompt where it pops up and gives me the option to change and add some text. So let's say that I change it to full color image instead of black and white. Now, as you can see, it didn't really nail it. The fourth one looks like it's got some color going on, but you can see that it did take this previous image that I'd made and make updates and adjustments. And that was the whole point of this, to see how we can take our old images, make changes, and improve upon them. If you need to keep the seed number for any reason, there's also a really easy way. You can do it with a current image or with one you just pulled up like this. And that's just simply to go to the Add Reactions and react with this little letter emoji. That prints out your job ID and your seed number if you need to keep track of either of those. All right guys, if you appreciated this quick tutorial, please do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Also, leave me a comment and let me know if there's something you did or didn't like about this video, as well as any future information you're searching for so that I can set up some new content for you guys. Oh, and as I said at the beginning, if you wanna use your own private mid-journey room or even an entire private mid-journey server, I've got you covered. You just need to click up here. <laughs>